we come from like a really rural, like almost poor place. So I didn't know if my parents could really afford sending me to college. So the National Guard was offering $20,000 signing bonus and free college in Michigan. And I was 18 and I didn't really think about the circumstances of war and any, or anything like that. So I just kind of just joined on a whim. We were in two wars at the time. I knew I'd get deployed at least once in six years, but why not, I guess? We joined the National Guard. Our home base was only 11 miles away. So we could still go to school and be close to where we needed to drill every month. Mm -hmm. But when you join the regular army, they place you They somewhere. put you on a, a base throughout the United States. We did route clearance. We would lead other convoys and clear the road for them. And most of the time they wouldn't follow us because we drive really slow. So they'd leave the base like three or four hours after us. And then we just clear routes <laughs> for other people. Pretty much find bombs. The military is not a bad thing, but definitely go over the paperwork. Don't just sign a bunch of contracts without reading them and get your family involved and your friends involved and really think it through before you make a decision like that. Because six years is a, a long commitment to something. It's weird to think that I was 14 and 9-11 happened and I ended up going to war for that reason. Mm. With the mental thing, like, yeah, I definitely was a more upbeat person, I guess. and. I'm still pretty upbeat, but it's easier for something meaningless to make you upset. Businesses had all the like support the troops stuff up and all that. We got like really good reception when we came home. People forget about it now. I mean, it was just like a, everyone. There's so many people affected, like he, like Cole said that everyone was thinking about it. But once we came home, you know, people just yeah. forget.